Unfortunately, they changed their travel plans, was on a bus ride now. He says, Kev, I'm not going to be able to make it, but we have this video on Facebook. Quick story with Maddie. Um, same team with Mason. When I first met Maddie, he was a phenomenal skater. He skated like a gazelle on the ice, and he had six set of hands. And I remember I saw him the first time in my first practice. Says, you keep working on your game, you're going to get to the show. He says, I will? Yeah, man, you got you got skills. You got speed. And you got hands. And so he went to Brown University, went to AHL. I'll just give you some quick stats here. Seven years pro, AHL All-Star Game in 2018, leading scorer 2015 and 2016, 16th overall in scoring in the AHL. He's 5'10", a buck 70. Calder Cup champion. And I'll pl just play Matt's story so you can listen to Matt. He's a very humble, very quiet guy. Okay? And Ronnie and I did the demo on him at the Rico Center in Toronto. And Ronnie and I, the look on Maddie's face was like, what the heck is this? And the next morning, he skated in the game day skate in the morning with the Sox. And he texted me after the practice. He goes, Kev, what the blankety blank is in these socks? He goes, why? I'm a different hockey player. My balance, my edges, my shot, my focus, my, my everything is better. I'm going to wear them in the game tonight. So all my hockey people on the call, when's the last time a pro player changed their routine in the playoffs? Never. So this is Matt's story, then we're going to move on. So I'm here with Matt Laredo. I met Matt six years ago when he played with me with the Villanova Knights in junior hockey here in Toronto. Uh, furthered his career with Brown University, and we reconnected about a month ago, uh, when, or three weeks ago, when they're up to play with the... Uh, Toronto Marlies in the Northern Conference Championship. And I'm going to have Matt share just a little bit of his experience with Vox Tech, and we're going to walk you through the demo to show you the, the effect we have on neuromuscular performance. So, Matt, it was, it was great to run back into you again six years later and to meet you down at Rico Center, and we went through some of the testing, and you will get a chance to wear the product when you play. So, if you can just share with the Vox family what your story was and what you felt on the ice as, as a professional hockey player. Uh, the effect that Vox helped you with your ability to play hockey. Yeah, well, first of all, I just want to say uh, I wouldn't wear something new, especially not in the playoff series, without uh, having belief that uh, it made me a better player. So when Kev met with me down at the Rico Center, we did the test, and I was just blown away by um, what I felt in the uh, in the insoles. And then he told me it was in the socks too, so I decided to try them in the game. and. Um, it was just, uh, it was pretty crazy what I felt uh, the first time skating with them. Just felt a lot more balanced, a lot more stable. Um, felt like I was thinking a lot clearer too. Um, and just uh, even my range of motion felt better. And just doing all the uh, the movements I do on the ice just kind of came uh, a lot easier and a lot smoother. That's great.